Hey guys, welcome to GJ Bricks. I'm Greg. In this video, I'm going to show you how to destroy train junctions to make them come out like this. To give this video some background, if you're new to my channel, uh, hit subscribe if you are, by the way. Um, I've always gone on about how much space you need for trains. You do need a lot of space. You've got the size of the radius of the track of the corners is big. You've got the actual space demands of the track itself. You've got to make sure there's enough for the trains to go around. And then you have these massive junctions that Lego makes that are not very friendly on space because two things. It always comes out this way, you can never come out this way. So in coming out this way, you've then got to put more track in. And I'll show you how much extra space that adds to a junction in a second. Secondly, if you want to connect two together, you end up with this enormous gap. And as you can see, this is my previous video I'm just going to bring up here to show you what I did before to actually cut this track in such a way that you could then connect two of these together and save a load of space. That was one of my ways for saving on the crossover. Now again, 4D bricks and trick bricks both make parts, aftermarket parts, that do that for you, so you don't have to cut it. Now, the advantage of doing it with the Lego pieces, it's cheaper. It is cheaper, um, but you do have to cut it. So, I mean, buying two junctions, uh, a left and a right junction here in Australia is about $20 in most shops. Um, to buy the trick bricks ones, I think after postage ends up being about $17 for one junction. So, you can see it's about two thirds of the price to go and buy Lego ones. But what you can also do, someone pointed out to me today, that you can actually, with a couple of extra cuts in the track, make these. Now, as you can see, that is a very different exit to this one, which is the standard Lego Junction. And what that does is it saves you an enormous amount of space, it saves you a curve, and basically, this is what the Trick Bricks and 4D Bricks ones do give you, but I've done it for free. So, it's not for the faint-hearted, this one, because once you make these cuts, you cannot go back. The reason being that you end up with these little pieces here. <laughs> That's what you've got. There is no way you're going to reattach those. Even with glue, it's not going to be very good. So, I'm saying that up front now. You can do this if you want to or not. The advantage is you end up with something very nice like this and I'm looking forward to showing you this in my city in a moment where I've got a much much, I can make a rail yard in so much less space which has been bugging me for ages the amount of space I needed. So I'll show you that one in a second. Now you can see in this picture here this is actually the way the tracks have been cut so there's a, a snip near the actual exit on there on uh, both sides of the track and through the middle of one of the sleepers there which then allows you to separate out that piece of track so we do that from each junction now you need a left and a right one like I said to do this so it's basically an entire junction pack then once you've done that you're going to have to make two extra or three extra snips in the piece you've gone away and you're going to be cutting through the middle of the next buffer and then removing one well effectively two studs worth of track from the other side and separating it. So you can see exact cuts I've made in this photo here. It's not for the faint hearted. It's actually very easy to do but as I said it's not for the faint hearted because you're cutting plastic. Um, kids don't do this yourself, get your parents to do it. Before. Now once you've done that you can then reconnect the pieces as I've shown in this picture here. You can see how they come together and you just put a, four, a two by four stud across the joint, and that's it. So if you're going to do your, um, if you're going to put sleepers down, whatever over the top, like um, two by four plates over all of your sleepers to join it together, you can do that, and you won't even know the cuts there. You can barely see it. And here's one more picture to show you the exact space saving that's occurred. Now you can see that's saved us half a track in width going outwards, and one less track length in actual like distance it's had to travel to actually make the turn. That's quite a big saving, it adds up, especially when you put them together and actually start to build out like your junctions for your, um, for your, for your train yards or whatever else you're doing. That's gonna be a big saving over time, so that's how it works. So let's have a look at that in situ in the city. 
Here I've done a really simple setup where I've done the left junction and the right junction and I've mixed it in with a couple of normal ones as well. So you can really see the exit on this one slopes straight back in. Whereas on this one we've just made comes out straight away. And then again in here actually gives me this nice tight junction in here. So I think this one here is going to become another one of those which will make me, let me have a really sort of tight um, tight junction exits on, on the whole sidings here. And I think probably make that come in at a bit more of an angle. But you can see just how much space that's saving me by doing that because I can have much sharper angles everywhere. So I'm very happy with that. Now, I hope you found that really useful. I have to give a shout out to Mario Russo who originally shared this with me on the Oztrack Train Enthusiasts group. Uh, he showed some pictures and I've turned it into this video. Uh, thank you Mario, very very useful. Saved me some money there in terms of buying the track. I probably will still get some Trick Bricks track or some 4D Bricks track because uh, I am keen to try it. I especially like the crossovers and I like the fact that you can put it back together whereas you can't with what I've just done to this train. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. If you're gonna do this, if you try it, let me know, let me see it. I'd love to know how it works for you. Um, and if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe and turn on the bell. I do post regularly, uh, especially about trains. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this.